This video has been sponsored by TopDon. TopDon offer a range of easy to use diagnostic related products for your car. So today I'm going to be testing the BT100 battery tester here on my E92 M3. Now once the two terminals are connected, the device will obviously power up because it is in fact uh, powered by the battery when it connects. You can then press enter, which will bring up the main menu and give you an overview of the various different tests you can do. You can also review the data if you want to look back on something and also change the language. So naturally we're going to start off with the battery test. Now before entering into this, make sure you do in fact get all the specs off of your battery because it will need uh, obviously all the details as you can see here uh, in order to do an accurate test. So I'm going to go with AGM flat plate battery, which this is, and it's CCA. It's actually rated at 800, which I already input. Uh, so we can press enter on that and that will straight away do a test. It only takes a few little moments. Well, there we go. We have a 59% healthy battery, and as you can see, 47% charge. So definitely not 100%. And as you can see, it does give you a rundown of everything, and this will actually uh, be listed then in the data. You can go into that, and then it can be reminded of uh, basically what it was at one certain time. However, moving on, we have a cranking test, which of course then does mean that I need to start the engine in order to basically test the crank of the battery to see if it's got enough power. Does sound mega this car and then we can head back round where on here you just need to confirm that it is in fact started it will then do the test to make sure it's okay which we already know because the cranking was fairly healthy and it started with no issues now the final test we're going to do today is the charging test where the car needs to be started already as you can see so we're going to press enter on that then going to do a first little initial test and then it's going to actually ask me to uh, raise the rpms very slightly just to make sure uh, it does in fact charge uh, regularly as well as you can see on the screen so hold the rpms at two and a half for about five seconds press enter it's then going to do the main charging test and then come back with whatever it has to say charging normal brilliant so there we are all three tests complete on the car i was aware that the battery was fine because i've obviously driven the car today however i wasn't expecting that it had depleted uh, that amount just by doing these short journeys even though they are done every day super easy to use and super portable from being so small um, so yeah a really really cool little product uh, to keep with you to make sure that your battery on your car is safe and healthy of course, a big thank you to Top Don for sponsoring this video. You can find all the details for them and this product down in the description down below. Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today we have another Mark VI Golf R on the channel. I absolutely love these cars. Love to own one one day actually. Um, so yeah, it's good to have one of these things on the channel because it has been a while. This specific car is a stage three car running about 470 brake. It's manual as well, so the perfect recipe for a lot of fun. So what we'll do in usual fashion, we'll introduce you to Tom, the owner, who goes to walk around of everything he's done to it, and then we'll hop out, go for a spin in this 470 brake, stage three, Mark VI Golf R. Okay, so we're now joined with Tom, the owner of the car. Mate, thank you so much for, for coming down today. All right, thank you. In this absolute beauty, like I said in the intro, I love these cars. They are mega, yeah. absolutely mega. Uh, and it's the first stage P1 which I have had on the channel. Um, plenty of bolt-ons yep. you've done to this. So if it's all right, we've got the bonnet open to give us a, a bit of a walk. Yeah, so yeah. starting off really, um, the, the, the obvious things that you sort of do to get it up to just stage two. Um, so we've got an intake, which is a Revo intake wrapped yep. in gold. Um, you've got the basics, nice things like the DV hose upgrade so it keeps it sort of all the boost and stuff stops the pipes collapsing mm -hmm. uh, moving on then we've got the nice Audi R8 core packs at the back yeah and a CTS um, turbo shield at the back so then moving on I've got the high pressure fuel pump so this is actually a whole unit um, it's a Loba unit so it's a really really good system matched up to the fuel system I've got a TTRS low pressure fuel pump stock injectors for now but it does have a nice couple of map switching that we can we Love can that. flick through yeah um, running on uh, standard which is the pump fuel 411 and mm -hmm. then going on to 
uh, the race fuel, which we can then go up to sort of 470, which nice. is which is nice and fun. Awesome. Um, nice. Standard diverter valve. Yeah. Um, standard N80 valve, all that sort of stuff. Mm. ES um, ECS dipstick, which I'm sure adds 500 brake horsepower just itself. <laughs> Beast. Yeah, that does really does the job. Um, but the party piece of this car really is the turbo. So yeah. it's uh, made by a company called um, Beach Buggy Turbos, who made the anti-surgical, which a lot of people in the TFSI yeah. world will know. Mm -hmm. But essentially, this one's actually one of their hybrid turbos. I don't nice. think they make them anymore because I did look to get it refurbished in sort of the near future and I can't mm. find anything. So no maybe way. someone in the comments could let us know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, so it's called a uh, BBT VT4. So it's a VT430. But yeah, it's, it's, it's an absolute animal. Yeah. Boost comes in nice and high, so it's nice yeah. and linear. Awesome. Uh, it's also yeah. running a runner flap delete as well. Yep. And then really that's sort of it, sort of in, yeah, in, inside here. You've got, yeah. oh yeah, got a Forge Motorsport intercooler. Yeah. But standard blocks nice. still at the moment. So yeah. maybe yeah. a second time pond, but it's been it's serviced every 3,000 miles. Yeah. So yeah. I don't think you can you sort of You're going to forge it or keep it uh, I'm, I have plans to maybe maybe yeah. go down that route. Yeah, yeah, looking at hybrid injectors and then big turbo builds. So oh, wow. Uh, okay. Amir, I'm going to try and um, try yeah. and beat yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. Yeah. But yeah, he's, yeah, he just had his out. So yeah, yeah. quite, yeah, quite absolutely. impressed with that. So, yeah, big time. Um, big time. Sort of other bits on the car then. So I've got um, a big brake kit set up so um, I've got Porsche 996 calipers nice um, matched with a Vagbrem Technic disc mm -hmm. which I believe is 371 mil so yeah quite hefty and yeah. then matched onto some sort of lightweight Calibra alloys yeah. um, and some PS4s around as well nice. suspension wise we're on B8 dampers Bilstein which I think remember you had them yeah, on your had M140, on the and, then, yeah. um, and then matched up to some Bilstein springs but nice. maybe plans I don't know to bag it but I think if I'm going big build I think I've got to make the decision to be sensible yeah, and yeah, maybe true, go for coil true. You've done the rear brakes as well haven't you? Yeah so well they're, they're still the standard but they're, um, they're actually sort of J-hook discs but yeah. they're all Tarex pads all around as okay. well so they yeah. do stop well Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely. and they sort of match and go around sort of back yeah. of the car it's um, a three inch system all the way through so yeah. DCAT, um, custom them from downpipe to the back of the car but then nice. it goes into a scorpion back box so i'm sure our um, lovely tier for side people will uh, hate the scorpion back box because <laughs> they're not very known for being very, well they're quite known for being restrictive but um, oh, okay yeah have you done yeah. the clutch on it as well? yes yes yeah. i have so this has actually got a single mass flywheel mm -hmm. um it's a sax setup and it's a sintered plate i believe which is nice. the, the normal not the not the pedal um paddle which is too ridiculous but the same clutching still... that i've got in the golf r yeah yeah, yeah, my so, Mark yeah, yeah, yeah. so it is hard but it yeah. is still dailyable yeah yeah um yeah, you can get your, get your daily leg workout. Yeah. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, yeah. No, mate, I, like I said, I, I love these cars. I'd love to own one one day. And, um, yeah, it's been a while since I've been out in one, so I'm very much so looking forward to this. So I think, yes. I think we should get it fired up, go for a quick spin, find some nice roads. And, Let's go uh, for it. Yeah, go have some Let's fun. Let's do it. spin at all just gets up and goes yeah pleasure pleasure having me on mate appreciate yeah, it no, mate, it's honestly it's uh, i love these cars actually yeah. there was a funny story about how this came about so you were just cruising down the m25 one day yeah i came past saw your instagram tag i thought oh that looks cool i dropped him <laughs> a message sweet and then here we are so <laughs> yeah Oof. it does sound it does good. have a nice noise yeah <laughs> That's a party piece. Yeah, big time, big time. So obviously you've got plans to, well, mainly do a bit of engine work, really. Yeah, I did, think... Did you say big turbo as well? I'd like to go for a big turbo. I yeah. mean, I don't know, I, I'd like to see if it's possible, but I want to get a nice sidewinder, something yeah. around the side, take the battery up, put it in the boot, yeah. and see if I get a sidewinder turbo. I think that, that would, be, would cool. be pretty cool, That'd to be, be fair. Proper. Yeah. I mean, the power that you're running at the moment, it's... It's safe power yep. and it's usable power. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's not it's not too much. I mean, mm -hmm. it's all-wheel drive, so it's not going to spin anyway. I mean, I do yeah. get four-wheel spinning sometimes anyway, <laughs> um, but it's it's more of a, you know more of the fact that where I want to be sort of in the future. I want to obviously I want to go 
probably next obviously go like I mentioned earlier it's got the hybrid injectors which I want to yeah. do because mm -hmm. um, that just keeps things and the fuel in sort of as, as minimal as possible because yeah. it makes sense if I've got a, you know, a high pressure fuel pump upgrade and uh, mm -hmm. a TTRS low pressure and then get some hybrid injectors in there I've got actually a set of broken ones at home so mm -hmm. I won't be without the car so it'll be literally yeah. a case of in a day I can get it organised get it in get it all done yeah. get walnut blast at the same time why yeah. not I suppose fueling is probably the main thing which holds cars back I'd say yeah yeah you know, you're absolutely right you're absolutely right I mean this it drinks fuel when you put your foot down but mm. daily in this sort of like going on the motorway yeah. when, I, when, when I did see you briefly I was actually <laughs> get, I was getting about 35 miles to the gallon out of a stage 3 car that's good yeah that's really good and this is really this good. is a daily as well yeah <laughs> daily. I, love I love filming daily cars which yeah. are just like heavily modified. I, I tried to make it a garage queen, but yeah. uh, I, I, I get too addicted to want to drive it. Can't stop <laughs> driving it, yeah. So yeah, what I sort of mentioned, I forgot to say as well. So I got the, I got white line anti roll bars with this, mm -hmm. and yeah. a short shifter. Oh, nice. So yeah, which is quite nice to be fair. And it's the, um, it's a proper short shifter. So it's the sideways and the sort of yeah. um, the y axis and the x axis, if you want to be like that. But <laughs> it sounds so good. It's good. You get like a throb from it. Doesn't Screams. It's it? <laughs> good in the corners. <laughs> Any track days or anything in this? No, I want no. to. Yeah, I love track days. It'll, yeah, it'll be good on track. Years ago, I used to do like a lot of stuff, um, like, like, like off road and stuff, like little like um, oh, auto no. tests. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's sort of where my love come from. Yeah, really. yeah, absolutely. So you're saying you've done the short shifter and the anti roll bars as well? Yeah, say? so yeah. it's got white line anti roll bars. Oh, yeah, no, I'll go for it. Yeah, <laughs> see it <you> straight. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so planted, that's the thing. I, 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 I've i just put new tyres on it as well, so it's got yeah. PS4s all around, but yeah. this it's so planted. You can you can sit there at nice, comfortable speeds, and yeah. that's it. You're just pooding along. Yeah, absolutely. But it just keeps going. So the only negative, really, when you go for like a runner flap delete, which is what this has got, is yeah. it becomes quite linear. Mm -hmm. So the runner flaps and like a standard turbo will kick the torque in really early. Uh, okay. Whereas this becomes really progressive. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, but this would, yeah, as soon as you get in sort of fourth gear in this, yeah. I've had a go with my mate in his S3 and he pulls away, he's DSG, so he pulls away and sort of up to third. And as soon as I get to third, I am literally on his ass chasing him and then I'm ready to go past him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Talk about track days, actually. I noticed back here it's all stripped out. Have you got plans for a cage? Um, I want to get a cage yeah. fitted, yeah. yes. A half cage? cage? I'm looking at a half cage yeah. or even a full one, but then there's yeah. a bit of me that's thinking, do I want to strip a car apart because yeah. of what it is? I want something that still so you can sort of take it out, but there's lots of things to sort of think about. But I definitely know that I want I want a seat, a proper nice seat, so I can put some harnesses in for obviously maybe go to the ones that you had on your car. Yeah. Because you, you sort of mentioned they're, 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 they're comfortable, which is yeah. what you want. I don't want obviously want to break the bank on seats because at the end of the day, you know, you just want something that hugs you and, yeah, and that sort of it. But then I want some nice harnesses because obviously, yeah, yeah, if you're doing track days, I think that's almost, yeah, almost, almost the need now, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's so, it. yeah, there's, there's things in the pipeline for this, but at the moment, I'm just really enjoying like where it's at. Yeah, well, that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah. You've got it at a stage where you like it and just enjoy it. <laughs> but yeah. it's not tinny or no. horrible or anything. I was tempted to get B16s, but I don't know, you know, if that will make a huge difference to me. Like, yeah, I'm only, I'd only do partial track days. I think it will become a bit too, a bit too undrivable because it will become harsh. Much, but yeah. yeah, it handles the road really well. Yeah, it is, definitely. Are these 18s on it, by the way? Yeah, it's for yeah, the 18s. Yeah, I'm tempted to go for 19s, but I wanted yeah. the, I wanted to keep the, obviously the tire really. So yeah. like, you need the grip. Exactly. You yeah. have to, you have to, you have to take these things away when you get yeah. big power. Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise you lose grip. But you know, sometimes again they look good, but. Yeah. Like, like your M M140, you know, you had you have probably a lot wider tires than what this one is. Yeah, exactly, These are only 225, yeah. 48 Rears were 275 or 245 wow. or something like that. Yeah. Mega. <laughs> How much do they cost a piece? Uh, quite a lot. 
<laughs> it's not laggy at all though, really. No. <laughs> Thanks, a lot of fun. Appreciate it. <laughs> no, mate, it was awesome fun. Awesome fun. I mean, to be honest, you're not based too far away from me either, so no. we can go for a drive sometime. Yes, definitely. Um, but yeah, of course, you can find Tom's Instagram link down in the description down below if you guys want to learn more about the build and everything coming soon. Hashtag Big Turbo. Yep. <laughs> um, but yeah, for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.